I'm here discussing um, the clinical outcomes following pomidronate use in patients with chronic critical illness. Um, so this was a study that actually took place at the Mount Sinai Hospital um, uh, in a cohort of patients with chronic critical illness. Um, now this is a population which uh, has prolonged critical illness, requires mechanical ventilation um, and the tracheostomy and typically very sick population. Um, and we wanted to investigate um, the use of pomidronate, um, which is a bisphosphonate, to improve clinical outcomes. Now, pomidronate has been used previously um, in chronic critical illness uh, in this unit, and we've studied it in the past and have shown that um, elevated bone resorption, which is common in chronic critical illness, biochemically improves following pomidronate. That's already been shown, but what we wanted to do in this study was assess um, mortality, ventilator liberation, um, as well as renal function, and basically to see if giving the pomidronate to decrease um, the bone resorption can improve these clinical outcomes. Um, patients designated with chronic critical illness are those that receive a tracheostomy um, after a prolonged course in the ICU, which is typically after at least 10 to 14 days of mechanical ventilation, um, because at that point it's this determined by the ICU team that they're not going to um, either expire or um, be cured in the short term. At the giving the IV pomidronate did lower um, RCU and one year mortality in patients um, within our CCI, chronic critical, chronic critical illness cohort, patients receiving pomidronate had improved mortality. Um, additionally, they had higher likelihood of liberation from the ventilator, um, so we thought this was highly significant. Um, we also tested their, or assessed their renal function um, as this is considered, renal function is considered um, a barrier to use of bisphosphonates. Um, and we wanted to show that it would be safe. Um, so we looked at parameters of renal function, creatinine, and GFR. Um, and not only were they I'm stable, sorry. but there were some slight improvements in creatinine um, following pomidronate. So it appears um, very stable from the renal perspective. And our study looked at patients um, with both normal and abnormal renal function, all levels of chronic kidney disease. We did not encounter any safety issues. The main concern in general for bisphosphonates um, is the renal function, and we did look at that very closely um, and did not find any detriment on the renal function. So this is a whole new way of approaching. Uh, basically, patients with chronic critical illness, um, the focus tends to be trying to get them off the ventilator, but there's a lot more going on in their body that may not be focused on. Um, and um, generally speaking, in most hospitals, um, no one's looking at what's happening to their bones during this period that could be for months that they're in the hospital. Um, so at Mount Sinai, there's a series of protocols in the respiratory care unit specifically looking at um, the effects on the bones, um, and we're really the first group to be describing um, these kind of effects, and this is the first study looking at um, effects of pomidronate on improved clinical outcomes. With that said, this is retrospective study, so before we would have this implemented um, in the grand scheme, we would need prospective studies to confirm our findings. We still need to um, find the best way to expand this uh, into smaller facilities. Um, right now I'm working at North Trail AJ and I hopefully will be able to expand it here. Um, but like I said, so far we've had retrospective studies done. Um, the next step would be doing prospective studies to confirm that um, these are complete findings that we would want to recommend to all hospitals.